this way I can show you what the ore and gold does. So you've got you've got town gold and town ore, so it's different than your run. And then these are skill points that I'll probably go upgrade as well. So in here, the main one, um, you can get different tiers of town halls. I'm at tier f tier three, and then each of those you can buy different things. And so oh, it doesn't still show the prices. Well, these first ones, like the first blacksmith, I want to say was like 5 or 10 ore to upgrade. Um, but now you can see third general store is 25 ore. Um, third apothecary is 35. Uh, the chapel number 2 is 35. And then the next town hall is 50. So you need quite a bit of ore to continue to build up your town and progress. And then of the things I've unlocked so far, there's the sorcerer who will increase your this is per, these are permanent upgrades with your town gold. So skill damage is all your spells, resistance obviously helps you stay safe from magic. And then there's a priest down here who sells permanent blessings, but I believe you can only get one per tier. So Increase your skills, decrease your damage taken, increase... Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can only get one of these per tier. But I don't know. I, I have never had 10,000 that I wanted to put at one of them yet. Um, and those upgrades, I believe, are per character. There's a fountain you can toss 100 in and it either get good luck or bad luck. Um, I've never used that, actually. And then this is a, a little gambling game. Uh, basically, you just flip to, they each flip a card, whichever is highest wins. So I'll, I'll put 500 down. Well, let's just do 100. I don't, I don't really like gambling. Yep. So I lost one verse 10. Yes, this game is much more of a, a roguelike. If you're familiar with uh, like Rogue Legacy or Dead Cells, it's pretty similar to those. And then the blacksmith is where you upgrade your like your attacks, critical boots. You know, I love I love my movement speed. And then here's where you can upgrade your your skills. I will do combustion finally. And you you can upgrade your skills by leveling up and getting these these star points. So then there's this apothecary over here. Um, potion charges is how many times you can use your potion. Um, you can increase how much the potions do, how much the pickups do. These are... I don't really use those, I, at least not yet. And then here, the general store. You can buy keys, which I sometimes do if I'm trying to have a good run. And then there's random... Uh, it's two commons and one uncommon random items. And then the last one... I've never used this. As you can you can trade between gold and ore if you want. Uh, I assume this is if, if it just seems like a, a later game type of thing because the you can sell an ore for 250 gold or buy one for 1250 gold. It just doesn't seem like like either one's really worth it. Maybe selling it once you've maxed out your town, but anyway, yeah, that's that's the town mechanics.